Hey guys, Jason back at MRS Hobby. Uh, we just finished the Commander uh, battle suit in our last video. Uh, in this one, we are going to talk about building uh, the Crisis suits. Now, in the in the Apocalypse box set, this comes with nine Crisis suits. So we're not going to build nine Crisis suits on video. We're going to build one, and we're going to talk about like uh, you know what your what some of the options are and and then we're just we're going to go ahead and build one up and then I, i've got a couple that i've already completed that we can take a look at um but um i've uh i've kind of built mine for the the warhammer apocalypse game so i'll just i've got a couple here off the side i'll show you these guys are built and primered so I've got uh, this guy outfitted with some fusion blasters. Uh, I, I haven't glued the engines on because I haven't I haven't painted all of that, but uh, they are based and they've got you know this is a cork base and uh, I've got a little bit of gravel on there too, and then primered that whole thing. And then this guy he's outfitted with uh, flamers, so he's going to be a good kind of anti infantry. He is outfitted with. Uh, uh, flamers as well. Um, the way I've constructed my uh, crisis suit team is I've got three of them that have flame throwers, three of them that have um, fusion blasters, and three of them that have uh, burst cannons. Actually, the apocalypse only comes with six crisis suits, not nine, six. But I already had uh, some of my own. And so I made three teams of three of the same. So three flame, three fusion, and then three bursts. Now, um, the one I'm going to be building today, because I haven't completed yet, is it's going to be a fusion blaster um, crisis suit. Uh, I already have my burst cannons and my um, flamers all, all done. So I do need to construct one last uh, fusion blaster. This is kind of my anti-armor um, crisis team. Um, I also built my anti-armor ones uh, with uh, what's known in the, in the Tau lore, the Iridium battle suit. You can see there's kind of some uh, armor on the leg. So this guy, he doesn't have the same kind of leg armor as this guy. It looks like he's got a little bit more beefier of armor. Same with his uh, upper body. You can kind of see this guy looks a little more boxy, a little, he's got this like kind of neck guard compared to, to this guy. Um, and that's just for me, Aesthetics. I, I like to think that the guy that's going going up against tanks is going is going to be the guy that's uh, um, a little bit more heavily armored. So that being said, let's uh, let's kind of jump into it. Uh, again, this book is laid out uh, with like your interchangeable parts, and then it kind of goes into you know what the different you know options for weapons and stuff. Are. So we'll just kind of start um, and go from there. So these guys have jetpacks. They fly just like the other guys. Um, most of the battle suits for the Tau have the fly keyword, so they'll have these some kind of variant of this uh, um, jetpack. Uh, um, so that being said, you've probably already watched me build some jetpacks, so I'm not going to build that. I'm just going to kind of focus on the the body and the you know legs and and um, other things. Also, with this 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 sprue is one full crisis suit and everything you need to build a single. So this. Your, your pack of three will have three sprues almost identical. There might be a few little small parts that have changed, um, but for the most part, they're 
all pretty much the same. All right, so let's uh, let's get started. Um, first things first, we're just gonna go ahead and build the upper uh, torso where the pilot will be. And it consists of these. And this is weird. Th these crisis suits, they go together a little differently because most of the time the bodies will be like solid or uh, you may put a couple pieces on, but you don't have to build the whole upper, lower, bottom, front, back, you know, all, you know, it's just kind of one or two pieces going together. And this one actually, I think has four or maybe even five that go together to, to actually just build the center, which is weird because there seems like there's so few parts yet. <laughs> There's a bunch on here. So now we have, this is the lower, this is the upper, this is the back. Um, now it looks like I was gonna build this guy with the, the iridium suit, but I don't see that chest piece on the sprue. Let me see if in my little bag of tricks that maybe I've brought my extra bits. Nope, I didn't bring my bits. So he's going to be a regular armor crisis suit. Uh, no, no super beefy armor for him. Uh, I'll just have to kind of hope that um, he's lucky enough to to make it. So we're going to go ahead and just, uh, kind of clean up now. This the this front uh, or the I guess the bottom. It has these two little nubs on it right here and here. Don't clip those off. They're supposed to be there. Um, and that those are for how the, the the chest piece connects to it. So don't clip those off. If if um, you happen to accidentally, it's not that big of a deal. There's still plenty of surface to glue to, but it's just a little bit easier if you don't. So again, just clip kind of file down. And this one you can see also has the little nubs here and here. Don't clip those babies off, leave them on there. be surprised how fast these guys actually go together they're pretty simple dry fit these we got the kind of top and bottom and then we've got the front piece that kind of see those those little nubs they fit into some slots here that make this not slide around makes it so it's like perfectly centered and right where it needs to be and then you got the back um, so those four pieces together make just the kind of upper body torso these guys, like the commander, um, they've got this little hole here, and it's for like a flight stand. Uh, so you can make these guys like jumping or like looking like they're landing and so forth. Um, I've got most of my guys are just on the ground. Um, I don't love the flight stands because they tend to break if you're not careful. So um, if you happen to drop the model, almost assuredly the first thing it's going to break is the flight stand the model will be fine but then you'll have a piece piece of the flight stand right in the back portion here and um, like glued into here 
and then you'll have a broken end off of your base, which is just kind of terrible. You have to kind of drill it out and figure a way to uh, get your, you know, like use a pin, like paper clip. You can like kind of drill in and use a paper clip to and super glue it to kind of put it back together, but it'll just break again. So that being said, I just kind of avoid it uh, most of the time unless I can just keep and just remove it. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing this guy, this upper body together. And getting going on these crisis suits. These again have pretty great flat surfaces to to glue, um, so they just they go on pretty well. Bam! It's that easy. Upper section. Done. Uh, in the instructions here, you're going to see like your uh, your jet packs. Like I said, we've kind of gone over that in previous videos. They're just two pieces; they go to, together really easy. And since I'm not going to glue them on initially right now, anyway, I'm going to kind of just skip that part. This section down here is talking about the different weapons. You can see fusion blasters, which is what we're going to use. You got your plasma rifles, your flamers, shield generators, burst cannons. Um, these are all different uh, weapons that you can outfit this unit with. Uh, so, again, I'm going to build mine, like I said, with fusion blasters. Um, uh, in, in my apocalypse game, they'll have three, but I'm only going to model two, just like I did on this one, like one on the you know bottom of his arms this one i i put the shield generator on there but i just put it on for aesthetics it's not even something that you can choose to take in uh, the apocalypse game as a support system but i just like the way it looks like he's you know got guns and then he's got you know like a like i don't have a buckler shield off of this side of him but um and that just kind of gives that model a little bit it makes him look a little bit more beefy um, also, again, like all the other Warhammer stuff, uh, these the legs and stuff on here are a bit uh, simpler in that there's just the, the waist piece and then one piece for each leg and then another piece that glues onto it. So they're, they're pretty simple and there's not a lot of uh, customization in terms of um, like you can't bend it at the knee without like cutting it and actually you know, re-gluing it together, which I wouldn't recommend. You can still get some pretty good poses without cutting it and stuff like that, but um, just kind of dry fit it and just kind of play with how, you know, the, the feet go into the ball socket of the whole leg and then how that ball socket goes into the waist. Um, and you can see here, there's a couple of different, you can just clip these particular parts to get this stance and these particular parts to get that stance and these ones to get this stance. Um, so again, just kind of pick what you want and kind of go from there. I am going to go with this one because I think that that will work good for what I want there. So
these guys have knee pads too, which um, some of the other models do, but typically they're just kind of built into the legs. And But these crisis suits have where you can, you just kind of connect them on there. So I'll talk about what parts we've got out and where we're at. So full leg, full leg. Um, on these Tau battle suits, um, they've got like three toes. They've got the big middle toe, they've got the outer toe, and then they've got this one that doesn't quite touch anything. That one always goes on the inside. So whenever you're posing, you always pose the one that doesn't touch the ground or, you know, the base of the model. That one always, they're like the inner, like your thumbs, right? So they're like this. So you've got your your big touching toe, your little touching toe, and then you got your your little claw, which they go on the inside like that. So just keep that in mind if you get mixed up. <laughs> um, that's how you can kind of tell how they go. I'll just do like a quick, a really quick cleanup on. Yeah, see, you might want to. This piece right here, you might, there's like a little modeled piece. You might be tempted to like file that off, but it's supposed to be there. So just be careful. All right. You can see it here again. It's got. There's some, just some little detail right there. You just don't want to clip that off. All right. Then oh, I forgot to clip. Uh, these guys do have like the thigh armor. It just kind of slides over and it's right here on the sprue. 17 and 18 is the number. Not that we've talked about any other numbers before. Just saw it on there and thought I'd go over it. All right. gluing these together these crisis suits I mean they they go together pretty pretty quick and easy they're not a ton of parts and they're smaller models they are a little bit more complex than well than the actual foot soldiers but I mean sometimes those can be kind of complex too just depending on how you're outfitting them and getting them all to fit together all right, so there's our hip section, and it fits this ball and socket like that. And then these just kind of slide over his leg like such. Um, aside with the nub, is going to be the side of the thigh armor that's a little bit more pronounced, like a cutout. So this would be this leg fitting on this side and it's like that so that it's not interfering with the movement of the socket. Um, we can just go ahead and glue that on. Come on, Clue. And then these these little knee pads, 
um, the way they fit is the, the taller side goes up and there's these little kind of tracks that you can kind of place it on and glue it wherever you want it to be depending on like what he's doing. If he's standing tall then it, this armor might kind of overlap but if he was doing something else it might be floating somewhere else on that track so for now we're just going to hold off. that simple that's pretty much the whole leg the only thing we have left is the foot um, what I like to do is place the feet kind of flat and then fit the legs into them so that they're standing straight and don't have a weird foot that I've got to you know, compensate for on when I base it. Like I don't have to put a rock under there so it doesn't look like he's taking a weird step or something. So I'm not gonna glue these feet directly down yet to the, the base. Um, I'm gonna clip these nubs off too. Again, they all have nubs for to the default stance. So now we're going to glue the legs into the hips and position it so that it'll stand flat on the base. So the best way that I found to do it is to put a good amount of glue inside these sockets and then while it's still pliable um, I just kind of fit it in there and try to hold it the best I can. It's, it's not a real easy process, but, um, it's just kind of a, you kind of want both legs. You can just kind of stick them for now in there. And then... Right now they're still pliable, so what I'll do is I'll just kind of stick it down into that socket and then stick it into this socket. And if I'm okay with the stance, then I just kind of hold it like that. I know that it'll stand straight. Um, oh, try not to drop it. Um, but right now I know that if I, if I glue these feet down to the base, it'll stand flat like this guy. All right, so that's that section. Clean these knee pads up really quick and then we'll just go ahead and glue them on. That'll be the upper body and lower body basically all the way done. These guys, like I said, they're We're pretty good. So what we'll do is I'm gonna glue these these knee pads on, and then in the next video we're gonna we're gonna build the arms and assemble the head, and and that'll be pretty much it for this one. He's not very big, so um, I'll go ahead and do that. And the next time, whenever I come back, it'll all be done, and we'll be ready to start assembly on those arms and head. All right, guys, we'll. Catch you in the next video. Thanks.